got the serious look just like y'all got. That serious, intense look. Because he's trying to find his way. He's trying to figure it out. It's frustrating. I'm trying to listen to God. I, I got my own flesh in my pulling me here, my own desires, my family, my friends, all these things is, is, is distracting me from the truth. And it's difficult to give in, especially when you're young, man. But What's going on, folks? All right. I'm not going to try and make this video too long. All right. But, you know, I've I, I seen this video going around posting uh, on, you know, on YouTube. And I'm, I'm going to give my take on this. But... What I want to say is discernment is crucial. Now, this video, which you're about to listen to, it may sound good. And I'm telling you the truth. It's, it, it sound, it's very motivational, okay? Very motivational. When you listen to it, you know, you're going to say this, this book is motivational. It inspires. What's wrong with this? But there's something behind this, all right? There's something spiritually behind this. And I want us to actually listen to this 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 entire video. Just listen to the entire video. As I said, I'm not going to try and make this video too long, but I truly recommend that you all just listen to this entire video that I'm making. And I'm going to give my points on this. But I just want to say this one thing. Even a devil can give a sermon. We have to be discerning. All right, you got the go. serious look just like y'all got. That serious, intense look. Because he's trying to find his way. He's trying to figure it out. It's frustrating. I'm trying to listen to God. I, I got my own flesh in my pulling me here, my own desires, my family, my friends. All these things is, is, is distracting me from the truth. And it's difficult to give in, especially when you're young, man. But if you can go through it, you'll come out like gold. If I can go through the fire before you even started to get there. Cause it was the journey, the people that you didn't stop to talk to like me at Checker. The people at the gas station. You was in a hurry to get there, but it was the journey. It was the gas station. It's Checkers. It's the journey, not the destination. Because the destination is steadily evolving. We always grow in the wisdom and knowledge and understanding. It's always evolving. And we can never obtain it because it's, it's steadily, constantly evolving. I talk to the person pushing that basket. How's your day? How you doing? I talk to the homeless people because they say, be careful how you entertain strangers. And most people that they came off the street and they got their career together, they won't even let you know that they've been through it. They try to act brand new. They, it's a testimony. What you go through, what you go through, it's for us to inspire somebody else. It's for me to pull the weak ones up. It's for you to pull the weak ones up. We don't go through this because of our own selfish reasons. We go through this to give them a testimony of how far God has brought me. It, it was never about me. I thought about me. Why I'm going through this. He said, back up, man. Who are you going to inspire? Who are you going to tell somebody about the glory and the grace of God if you don't go through it? Get out of yourself. And once I step back, I've been seeing the deep things of God. And so I don't play with him. I don't ask him for a lot. I just say, give me my, my portion. I ain't gonna watch my back, they backstabber. You making the money, but I can't go to that job because I gotta watch my back. They hate us. Put me somewhere where I love going to work. I can get up and they appreciate my work and I blend in. God say, I'm, I'm gonna put you there, but if you wanna get it, go ahead and get it. What do you think about haters? That's a part of the, the balance in life. That's a part of the balance in life. Sounds like some yin-yang concept. They hate. They don't know why they hate. Tell them why they hate sometimes. We're getting in a time where God is not popular no more. And if you talk about it, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in Jesus. I believe in this. I don't care what you believe in. Let my spirit speak for me. Let my action. But it was a time when I was just a hearer and not a doer. But it got to balance out. You got to go through the fire in order to be a doer too. 
You're going to be a hearer, then you're going to be a doer. But don't let people throw you off your journey. You can't beat nothing. To, it's between your relationship with God. All right. So what I want to mention is, yes, on the surface level, this looked like a good speech. You know, very motivational. People will see this from the surface level and say, man, you know, God really used this man. You know. However, there's more beyond the surface that we have to look at. And this is where discernment comes in. Throughout the entire speech, he does not mention how a person wants to get saved. All right? He doesn't mention the name Jesus Christ. All right? That he is the way, the truth, and the life. That that's how a person doesn't get saved. Believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ. All right? He mentioned Jesus. Listen, one time. But it's in a way where Jesus was negated. All right? Where he stated that the times that we're living in, you know, when you preach or mention something, you know, about God, people, they'll come and they'll say, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in God. All right. And he made that statement. I don't believe in Jesus. Now, when he was making that, this is where I want people to pay, pay attention to. They usually say you have to read between the lines. And I'm saying to you, you have to listen beyond his words. All right. That negated statement. I don't believe in Jesus. It's not like he is saying it, right? It's not like he exactly is coming out directly saying that, right? Because he's using an example of the times that we live in. But the spirit that's um, using him, all right? Speaking through him, speaking those words, I don't believe in Jesus, all right? As if he's being exposed of his life, not believing in Jesus, not walking in his ways, all right? The spirit that's using him, all right? And it's not God. It's speaking through him, making that statement. I don't believe in Jesus. Almost like Jesus is not being confessed. All right. This 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 is deep. This is this is deep. What I'm trying to say, I'm trying to get you to look beyond the surface. All right. It, it, Jesus was never mentioned in, in a positive way. You know, if you confess the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, believe upon Lord Jesus Christ. He's the way to the Father. He, Jesus was never mentioned anywhere in this entire quote unquote gospel message, which is no gospel. All right. It's a motivational speech. But the only time Jesus was mentioned was in that negating form. I don't believe in Jesus. I'm trying to explain this best way I can. As if not to confess Jesus. You see what I'm saying? As if the man, is, is, is the spirit is not allowing the man to confess Jesus. That's what I'm trying to say. The spirit is not allowing the man to confess Jesus. Even though that statement was used in a fashion to give an example of what's going on in this time. It's deep. We have to look beyond the surface. We have to look beyond the surface. All right. Sometimes people may speak things. And it's the spirit using him to speak those words, but that person doesn't realize it. All right. So that's what I want to say is that a spirit, and it's not the Holy Spirit, spoke through that man to make that statement. I don't believe in Jesus. To expose as if the man doesn't confess Jesus. The man is not confessing Jesus. That's why Jesus was never mentioned because it's, it, it's telling you the spirit that's operating in him. All right. It's, it's going to take it's, it's discernment. But. We have to be discerning. Like I said, this seems like a good speech, but we have to be careful. The devil can preach a good sermon. All right. I pray we take this to heart. We use an example. Be discerning. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like, share this video as well. God bless.